Good morning, guys. It's June 1st, 2015. This is the final week before my uh, physique composition here in Salt Lake City, Utah. And I just wanted to shoot some video to show the progress of where my body's at, where it's been. Especially during the last five days, it's pretty amazing what doing your water manipulation and uh, car reefing and all these different uh, tricks of the trade that I'm learning from. Basically, this week I've got uh, five days, uh, Monday through Friday, to prepare for the Saturday show. Uh, today, you know, water levels are normal. We're gonna start taking in distilled water. There's gonna be an hour of cardio in the morning, hour at night, short workout during the day. Uh, carbs are low. Um, I don't wanna get too far into the specifics of it because it just depends on each person individually. But just so you know, I'm measuring everything I eat, I'm measuring everything I drink, and I'm doing very specific calculated workouts and cardiovascular exercises to attain the desired goal, which is to come in extremely dry, uh, skin-wise, extra muscular, uh, you know, water. Uh, you want it as thin between here and here as possible, but to have your muscles as full as possible with your vasculature doing its thing. And it takes a lot to get to that level. So, like I said, this is Monday. Stay tuned, I'll keep you updated as things go forward, but it's exciting to see how you go from this, a little bit of puff here and here, where I end up on Saturday. All right, so it's Tuesday morning, uh, June 2nd. Uh, yesterday wasn't too bad. I only cut down my water to two gallons, which sounds like a lot, but for me, I drink a ton of water, like nonstop. Um, kind of helps satiate my appetite and everything. So two gallons of water for me is a lot uh, less than normal but I uh, didn't feel too dehydrated. Um, I did about an hour total uh, workout, just getting a good pump, blood flow to the muscles, whatever. Um, two big cardio sessions, one in the morning, one in the evening hour each. Um, I don't feel like I'm too much leaner. Uh, I feel about the same. But you know, maybe I'll see it in the afternoon. So it's Tuesday. Um, Today will be just like yesterday, same water, same workouts, um, same cardio, everything. Uh, tomorrow is when we start manipulating the water levels. Um, like I said before, I'm also drinking distilled water. Um, you can read up on distilled water and how it flushes the minerals and everything out of your, out of your skin, your system, kind of cleanses you. But that's it, I'll talk to you in 24 hours. What's up? It's Wednesday, June 3rd, three days into my uh, last final week before my show, which is Saturday. Uh, I feel really good, man. I have uh, went and worked out two days in a row, kept up with my cardio. Water hasn't been too big of a deal yet. I'm still sticking around two gallons a day, so I'm not super thirsty, but the uh, abs are coming in pretty tight. Always have this little bagel right here, um, but the veins are showing up. It looks pretty good, I'm excited. They, uh... Yeah, cool. It's fun to watch it change. I mean, little manipulation and stuff seems kind of wacko, but heck, if you're gonna try and experiment, you might as well do it right, eliminate all the variables. So, uh, Wednesday, we've got uh, two more days. Today's a regular day, two sets of cardio, an hour in the morning, hour at night, really late. I've gotta get my kids to bed. And then uh, just sneaking in a little gym session in between. And then Thursday and Friday, which are today or tomorrow the next day, no working out, no gym, nothing. Just letting my body relax and uh, hopefully replenish, um, pack some more carbs away as we go and just tweak it day by day to try to hit a desired look, a desired result when it's all said and done. Good morning, Thursday, June 4th. Uh, I just woke up and my hair is just, looks like I just did it. It, it held its place, I guess, all night long. Uh, today, there's no training. So I'm cutting water down a half a gallon. Uh, continue to take diuretic to dry everything out. Um, no working out. I bumped my carbs a little bit because now we're gonna start to be in a surplus because we're not training, burning it off. And hopefully my muscles will fill out while my skin dries. Um, again, a lot of this manipulation and stuff I don't really understand entirely, but it's more of a trial and error thing for me. 
because a lot of the science behind it is actually pretty fascinating, but at the same time, you know, science is relative to the person and to how their body reacts to these different manipulations. So with me, um, I'm not really like a pro at this, so it's just fun to try things out and follow the guidelines or uh, advice from people that have done it before. And I feel like I'm getting awesome results. I mean, there's so many things you can change. Um, definitely like, definitely stoked. I have nothing really, no regrets, nothing. It feels like, man, it feels pretty lean, feel pretty full. I don't feel super tired or sick or anything. And there's, I'm not even pumped or no food in me at all. So we'll see. I uh, got today, tomorrow, Friday showtime. Stay tuned. Thanks. Good morning, it's Friday, June 6th. Uh, one day, 24 hours from right now, uh, is showtime. So, as you can see, I'm drying up a ton. Um, that water's coming out of my skin. Uh, yesterday, I got down to a half a gallon. Uh, today, just sips, so I'm gonna have, I already have a super dry mouth. And uh, I'm taking a diuretic that flushes water out of your connective tissue, your skin, your your muscles, your organs, whatever, just to keep drying out. I'm actually gonna do two videos like this today. One now at six in the morning, and one tonight at about bedtime around eight or nine, uh, because I wanna show you how much more I've dried out in, you know, 12, 14 hours later in the day, and also what a tan, a spray tan will do on top of that to help to emphasize the, the striation, the cuts, the, the tightness of the skin. Um, they do that tan to, to, to show the muscles and to pull, you know, to basically highlight and emphasize the contour and curve and shape and the darker the better. So that'll get done tonight. Uh, we'll see you in 12 hours. Uh, I've got to go eat a bunch of uh, tasteless dry food for the next day to uh, hopefully come out looking my best tomorrow. So I'm excited. Thanks. All right, so before you fall in your chair laughing, understand that this is why we tan. I mean, it makes everything pop, the lighting, it shows the depth, it shows the striations, it shows everything. Now, obviously, I'm a little darker than I planned, but you gotta go with the professionals and trust their opinion. So it's uh, nine o'clock at night, uh, the night before showtime, and um, I've been, uh, adding like double portions of carbohydrates. So basically been eating a ton of yams, <clears throat> 16 ounces per serving uh, every three hours. So it's nine o'clock, I just ate, I'll eat again at midnight, wake up at three, six, eat the same thing again, and then shows at nine. So the idea is to get a ton of carbohydrates, muscle glycogen back in your muscles. I'm staying dried out, um, still a little bit, there's a little in there, but I don't know if the oil sucked up a little, but it's kind of weird how it works. Um, we'll pull a little more water out, then we'll incorporate the, um, the carbs that I've been loading overnight, add some quick sugars, take some pre-workout, pump up the muscles, get them nice and tight and flex, and then the skin is so dry that it's gonna allow them to show through. Um, hopefully, uh, like I said, I feel, I feel really good physically. So my confidence is up, and then in the morning, you know, 12 hours from now, I should be on stage or right there, so. Stay tuned, again, <laughs> this is all part of the journey, I guess. It's pretty crazy. Thanks. What's up guys? Obviously it's Saturday morning. Uh, it's Ju June 6, 2015. Sorry, I just woke up. Um, I'm the driest I've ever been in my life and uh, the, the tan, definitely makes a big difference. I mean, it's crazy how much darker I am. I know it's kind of funny looking. If you know me, I'm not normally this dark, but you can see how it just accentuates everything and brings it all out. So, um, zip, man, it's been a year, year of eating, training, lifting, getting bigger, you know, planning regimens, planning adjustments, tons of cardio, tons of dieting, tons of manipulation this last week, uh, tons of sacrifice. You know, a lot of different things of that you have to give up as far as uh, your meals go and your sanity and your time and there's a lot of inconveniences. And, uh, I mean basically it's just been a, a long long road 
Uh, but the end result for me is, is worth it. You know, it's fun to see how far you can push your body. It's fun to see your body change and grow as a result of your effort and your sacrifice. Um, the end result is just trying to get in the best shape you can be in for your own reasons, whatever those are, and just having fun while you do it. Uh, the one thing about this stuff is, and you may not understand it, but I'm always smiling while I'm involved with weightlifting, bodybuilding, uh, aesthetics, physique, whatever. I just love to see people be happy by learning how to make their body respond to, you know, what they put into it. It's like, it's like, a, it's like one of the most rewarding things you can do to get in shape because you look better, you feel better, you're, you feel, you feel, uh, you feel empowered because you're essentially able to control something that most people have a hard time controlling, which is the, the, their, their physical fitness and their health. Um, it's something anyone can do. It's just a matter of going to the right people and the right resources and getting that information and then finding the discipline and accountability and the drive to execute it all and bring it to pass. So uh, it's going to be a long day at 6 a.m. Um, I woke up twice last night and ate about two pounds of yams to get some carbs in my system and fill me out. I have not touched a weight, I have not touched any oil or anything, uh, no sugar, nothing. Um, I got staged in about in two hours, three hours around that area. A lot's going to happen by then and I've got a lot of things to tweak before then but you know, just waking up as dry as I am. It feels pretty cool, it feels very worth it. And uh, I'm stoked with how to look. I mean, there's going to be bigger, leaner guys out there. But for me, this is the best shape I've ever been in. So mission accomplished. What's up? So <clears throat> it's uh, Saturday night, like 630. The show's actually started, but the men's physique are at the end. So I'm just kind of hanging out. Uh, the show this morning went amazing. Like I, uh, I couldn't have been happier. I came in there the best I've ever looked. I felt full. I felt strong. been just laying around uh, every three hours you know two cups of rice just to keep the carbs up uh, sipping water to keep my skin dry um, I just barely eat a bag made a big meal and threw a, a bowl in a cube in my rice just for some extra salt and it it like made my stomach just you can't really see the veins um, I'll find some video to show you but the veins in my stomach came out just wild so judging is over this is now it's just for fun um, the, the decisions already been made just go back and celebrate if you're a winner if not you yeah, applaud your, your uh, opponents whatever and then we're gonna go out and just smash it so um, I'm excited like I said it's been a great journey this is my last show I'm not doing any more uh, just it was one thing I really wanted to try in my life last year I did bodybuilding and it wasn't really my thing I'm not really built for bodybuilding I'm more of a physique type body. I'm six feet tall, 200 pounds right now. Uh, just kind of the proportions are more for the men's physique. So um, again, no regrets. My buddy Danny Fast dialed me in. Uh, if you're in the Salt Lake area, there's no one better for uh, nutrition guidance, prep, show prep, whatever. And like I said, you know, everything in life's worth doing once. And uh, I feel like I gave it my all, no regrets. Had an awesome experience. So, you know, we'll see how tonight plays out. Thanks for watching.